In this video, we're going to talk about the big question on everyone's mind. Is using ChatGPT considered plagiarism? Plagiarism is a serious issue in both the academic and professional world, so it's important to understand what it is and how to avoid it. We'll also show you the best free plagiarism checkers and discuss what's considered an acceptable level of plagiarism. Plus, we'll share some simple techniques for removing plagiarism, like paraphrasing. So grab a snack and let's dive in. All right, so is ChatGPT plagiarism free? Well, let's find out. I'm gonna ask it to write a 500-word essay about artificial intelligence, and then we'll run it through a plagiarism checker to see what it comes back with. Just to be clear, plagiarism is when you take someone else's work and present it as your own. It's different from copyright infringement, which is when you use someone else's work without permission. Even though plagiarism isn't typically illegal, it can have serious consequences for students and professionals, like a failing grade or a loss of credibility in their field. Plagiarism is generally discouraged because it does not contribute to the advancement of knowledge and understanding. The best way to check for plagiarism is to use a plagiarism checker. There are a bunch of them available online, both free and paid. Some popular options include Grammarly and Turnitin, which is used by many universities. These tools scan your text against a database of other texts to check for similarities. I'll put links to all of these in the description so you can try them out. One good free plagiarism checker I found is Qtext. Let's paste in our text and see if ChatGPT is plagiarism free. This free plagiarism checker is pretty cool because it shows you what percentage of your text matches other sources and gives you links to the sources. Even if you don't care about plagiarism, this is actually pretty interesting to check out because it's important to understand that the text generated by ChatGPT isn't original. It's trained on a massive data set of text and can generate human-like responses to prompts. And by looking at the sources, we can see some of that training data. According to this tool, it's showing a 47% probability of plagiarism. But the thing is, you can only use it for free once before meaning to upgrade. Also, it's important to remember that not all plagiarism checkers are created equal, so let's try another free one before we look into the paid ones, which are probably more accurate. All right, so the next free plagiarism checker I found was plagiarismdetector.net. Let's paste in our content and see what it says. Oh, it's saying this content is 100% unique. I thought this checker might be better because it allows unlimited usage for free and up to 25,000 words, but now I'm not sure if it's checking anything. There are a lot of pop-ups and ads on this one, so maybe it's best to avoid it. Let's move on. Next up, we have Grammarly. While they say they have a free plagiarism checker, I tried it out and found out you can't see anything unless you have a paid plan. Luckily, I have a paid plan, so let's finally find out how much of our chat GPT content is plagiarized. It says that 24% of my text matches 10 fragments from 9 sources on the web or in academic databases. It's pretty cool that it scans private databases and given the level of detail here, I'm inclined to believe this is the most accurate plagiarism checker we've used. Plus, it's a lot faster. I edited out the loading times for the free ones because it would have been really boring for you to watch, but trust me, they were pretty slow. So how much plagiarism is acceptable? Honestly, it's not really clear. Different journals and institutions have different standards and there's not really a set rule. But generally, if a text has a similarity below 10%, it's considered okay. But if it's over 25%, that's considered a high percentage of plagiarism. But the safest bet is always going to be 0%. So how do you remove plagiarism? Well, one way is to properly cite and quote any sources you use in your text. Another technique is to simply ask ChatGPT to rewrite the text without any plagiarism. I tried this and was surprised to see it cut the plagiarism down by 50%. Another tip is to include some specific details in your prompt when asking ChatGPT to write something. For example, I added some common questions I found on Google and it brought my plagiarism down to just 8%. Another strategy is to go through any plagiarized text piece by piece and rephrase it. You can do this manually or you can ask ChatGPT to do it for you and then copy and paste it back into your document. And just like that, you'll have a text that's 100% original and doesn't match any text on the web or in private databases. But keep in mind, just because it's original doesn't necessarily mean it will get you a top grade or provide value to readers. A better way to use ChatGPT might be as a starting point for your writing. For example, ask it to write an outline for an essay or article, then add in the specific topics or questions you want to cover and ask ChatGPT to write an essay based on that. This way you'll have a first draft that you can work on and improve section by section. If you want to see more examples of how to use ChatGPT, Check out this video or my other content. Thanks for watching.